Hello, my name is Ian Brandt. I'm in charge of this beautiful collection of art by an American artist called John Day, who was born in 1932 and died in 1982 in New York. John Day studied under one of the most famous artists of colour, Joseph Albers, at Yale University. He was one of the top students in Yale and helped Joseph and Annie, mainly Joseph, with his book on colour. But to start with, at Yale, and I have one of the original ones from that period, Joseph Albers taught everybody to do the leaf collages to recognise colour and texture. And his wife Annie then went on to do textiles with similar, similar colourations. So these are three examples of the leaf collages, which are really quite special. And then he moves on to this huge, in-depth, minimalist um, period of his life, which is actually mixing all these colours. And so you can see all the colours fading in and out. I mean, how complicated is that? And each of these lines is meticulously drawn. And for each of these paintings, there are 10 or 20 drawings to the millimeter. And somehow, I don't know why, but he got, it was the period when everybody in the war, Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein were using these sort of montages. And this is all come from a scrapbook he found in an uh, antique market in, in Manhattan. So moving on to John's later works, he moves into this absolutely precise uh, drawings of the, of the squares, precise to the millimeter, and then does the, this incredibly complicated um, sort of melange of color. So you can see how the colors fade in and out. I mean, the painting like this would take a month to to create, to just get the different layers of paint and then get the right contrast going down. But it is so exact, it actually looks like a photograph. And then John sadly is about to pass away. And this is his, this is his last painting, we call it the last painting, where his hand obviously gets a little unsteady and he uses paper for the lines. And as you can see, he's already started with the priming of the canvas, the dark base to put some figures or a different color and the top. But this painting is, in, in, so it's his last painting in, in the end of 1981 when he dies in the spring of 1982. But an amazing, amazing, amazing artist and such a luxury to work with such a complete collection coming from a man's life in the 60s and 70s of Manhattan and New York. So this is a brief glimpse at what we have here on show in Geneva in May 2021. But there's a lot more to see, so please get in touch and look at my website, artadvisor.ch. Thank you.